Hello world, my name is Ben, this is AnyLogic 101, a video series where I explain quick tips and tricks about AnyLogic that I learned over many years. And today I want to talk about a uh, painful issue, and that's file corruption that can happen from time to time, and I want to show you how you can avoid that 100% of the time. So the problem often occurs when people store their models in Dropbox or Google Drive or some other file syncing service, which is fine. I do that as well. I store my stuff on Dropbox all the time um, and it's great. But the problem is that the way you typically use any logic, it can lead to file corruption. If your internet connection breaks in the wrong moment or you turn off your computer too quickly, things like that. It's, it's kind of random. It happens fairly rarely, but it does happen consistently. So if you follow my approach, it will happen never. So let's see what the problem actually is. Um, people typically use any logic and have models open like that and they do their modeling and at the end of the day they just close any logic like you would in any program. And then they shut down their computer uh, or do other things and at a later point, you know, they, they restart any logic next day or whatever. And any logic then remembers, oh, you had these models open, I'm going to try to open them again and accesses the file location on Dropbox but that file might be corrupted now because the syncing didn't go well. It's rare, but it happens. And then you get an error message and you have no idea what happened. In order to avoid that, what I suggest and what I did since I started quite early on is I don't close any logic like that. I always first close the models, then I've got a very clean uh, any logic and only then do I close any logic itself. So. The file syncing is already starting to happening via Dropbox now, even when any logic is open. Then I close any logic. I get my coffee or end my day. And the next day, when you open up any logic again via Windows or whatever, however you do it, it opens up empty like this. So your models aren't opened. So again, there's no way any, any interference can, can happen at the start of the day. Dropbox might still be doing some thinking back and forth, whatever. First, start off any logic clear, and then you open your files. And there's this recently opened model section under file, which is super useful because with one click, essentially, you can get back to the state. So you just open back up the model that you had opened the other day. It's a tiny little bit more work, but in my experience, that habit is really, really helpful. But I, because I have no synchronization issues ever anymore, and before, when I use this approach, they do happen from time to time, and it's 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 a bummer. So, very quick trip, but I hope it's helpful. Thanks a lot.